Hello to our fans online. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Paula Ferris with the top stories on this Wednesday, August 22nd. A Washington state man is under arrest after allegedly sending an email to the FBI that included a threat to President Obama. Secret Service agents, they rushed to the suburban Seattle apartment of 31-year-old Anton Kalori. Agents say he met them at the door with a shotgun. They took him into custody. Their search revealed no bombs, even though he threatened that bombs were in the residence. He will be in federal court this afternoon. Also, a troubling incident in Tampa, where, of course, the Republican National Convention begins next week. Someone made their way on the rooftop of a building and stored bricks and a pipe, possibly to throw at convention attendees. The building is only a mile from the convention center. Police and federal authorities are restricting airspace, patrolling the waters, and closing down streets as they prepare for rowdy protesters or even potential violence. And they're preparing for a possible hurricane, Hurricane Isaac. In California, thousands of people are waiting to find out if their home survived wildfires. Firefighters have made some gains on the Ponderosa fire in Northern California. Nearly 2,000 firefighters are battling from the ground and the air. At least 50 buildings and structures have been destroyed. The key to containing these blazes is the wind. One strong gust could push an ember over the fire line. And in St. Louis, a story to restore your faith in humanity. This morning, construction worker Ray Luthauser saw an envelope full of cash fly off the trunk of Jane Corbett's car. She was going to use the money, actually, to buy food for the homeless. Well, Luthauser picked up as much of the money as he could. Then he actually tracked down Corbett. He returned $330. His construction colleagues donated $500 more to make up for what was lost. See, and, good Samaritan. Yes. And good karma. She was giving money for the homeless. Lost she was. It, got it back. See? And the, the reason that she lost it, she had put it on the trunk of the car and then was strapping her eight-year-old child uh, into the car and forgot about it, which happens. Better left the cash than the kid. Mm -hmm, <laughs> so lucky on sure. a few counts. <laughs> we'll get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Paula Ferris. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. This is World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it.